Hey everyone, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I realized a few weeks ago I had my four year anniversary on YouTube, which is just crazy to think that I've been on here for that long. I know I'm kind of inconsistent with making videos, but I try to make them when I can. And um, my very first video was how to curl your hair. I may link it below so that y'all can get a kick out of it. It's kind of funny and it's just, you know, after a couple years you become more comfortable talking to the camera. Anyway, in the four years that I've been on here, I realized that I haven't really made any personal videos and that's just because it is the internet. I have a family with kids and so today what I thought I'd do is I've seen a lot of those videos, 50 things you don't know about me. So what I'm going to do is 25 things. I couldn't come up with 50 all the way. Maybe I'll do 25 now and 25 later. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I didn't start coloring my hair until I was 30 years old. So growing up I never experimented with color whatsoever and I think I started noticing my first couple gray hairs at 30 and now I'm over 40 and have a lot of gray hair so I still have to color it. I'm not that great of a cook. My kids tease me that I burn everything. I think that's because I like toast that's kind of crunchy. I like my waffles a little bit crunchy. I like my bacon burnt, and so they joke that I burn everything. I will say though that since I joined a dinner club with some of my friends, I have become a better cook. In fact, the first thing they ever asked me to bring to dinner club was bread. They didn't even ask me to make anything, so that was the big joke. I have no tattoos. In fact, I don't even have any weird piercings or anything. I think it just in my generation, you know, I've got my ears pierced, um, just single pierced, and I don't have any tattoos. I'm not against them. My husband has one, um, but I don't have any. My college friends and I still get together every year and go on a trip, usually in January or February. And we've been doing this for over 20 years since we've been out of college. We've missed a few just because of kids and life, but we try to pick a different city every year. We've been to Nashville, Charleston, Austin, um, Aspen, all the end cities. Anyway, so we try to get together every single year and take a girls trip. After college, I was a cocktail waitress before I started my master's degree. And my husband teased me because he said I was a terrible waitress. And what's funny is I got, I think, waitress of the year. And so he was laughing, saying that I was terrible, but it ended up that I got waitress of the year. I, I loved being a waitress. I just loved interacting with people, talking with them. So I, I really liked it. I got to go bowling at the White House. And if I can, I will insert a picture. So the bowling alley isn't actually in the White House, but it's in the... Um, Gosh, I forgot the name of the building now, but the building right next door and you go down into the basement and there is a bowling alley that's been there for many, many years. It's a two lane bowling alley. And so I got to go there for a friend of mine's 40th birthday party. I hate to iron. And when I break out the ironing board, it's about maybe two times a year. Everybody starts laughing in my family because they know I hate to iron. When I was in fifth grade, I got paddled with one of those big wooden paddles by the principal. A girl, we were outside at recess and we were having a running race and I think I beat her and she came and swung at me with a tree branch and I think I spit on her, which is terrible, and I ended up getting paddled. So I have a huge sweet tooth and usually every day I have something sweet or chocolatey, whether it's chocolate chip little morsels, M&Ms, a popsicle, something, I have a huge sweet tooth. I started playing tennis three years ago and I'm totally addicted. I love it. For those of you who are wondering should you start, it's never too late to start and it's a really fun sport and you get exercise and have fun while you're doing it. I love the bond that I had with my grandparents. I was lucky enough to have four grandparents that were still alive when I graduated from college and one great grandmother. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I've lost them all now, but I just think there is such a special bond between grandparents and their grandchildren. Sometimes when I can't go to sleep, I count from 100 back down to zero backwards and I keep repeating it and saying it as fast as I can until I fall asleep. I've been skydiving and bungee jumping 
in New Zealand. After college, I was lucky enough to go to New Zealand and Australia with two of my best friends from college, and I did those crazy things. Skydiving was one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life, and bungee jumping was pretty cool too. I went to the same camp in Texas. As a camper, I went there for 10 years, and then I was a counselor, and if I could go back today, I still would. I loved camp. I went for from the age 8 until 18, I had the greatest memories from camp. I loved it. I've had long hair most of my life. I did cut it off in eighth grade when the Olivia Newton-John Let's Get Physical movie came out. And then I also cut it off right before I graduated from college. And I hated it both times. So I'll probably have long hair forever. I ended up marrying one of my best friend's brothers. So we didn't date in high school or anything because when I was in high school, he was in college. But we met after not met, but we started dating after college while I was in graduate school. I am blessed with a son and a daughter, and I just think that's great to have one of each. I feel so lucky. I never knew how much love I had until I had my children. So of course you love your husband, and you love your parents, and your grandparents, and your family, but until you have a child of your own, <clears throat> I just, I never knew how much I could love, so it's such a special bond. The first date I had with my husband was a ride on his motorcycle. He has, and still does, a, a fat boy, Harley, and we rode to the different monuments in D.C. at night, and it was really cool because we could just drive right up to the monuments and go off to the next one. I am five foot nine, so when I wear even just the slightest heel, two and a half, three inch heel, I'm six feet tall, so I am very tall when I wear heels. That's why I don't wear them too much. Um, you know, every once in a while I will, but um, yep, I'm 5'9". We got married on a beach in North Carolina. We just picked a spot that we wanted to have our wedding, and everybody came to us. And the last one, I think that was 25, is that I love the relationships that I've made on YouTube. It sounds so corny. But I swear, some of you, I feel like, you know, we've been writing back and forth now, at least some of the people that I've been watching, and some of you that have been watching me for four years. So I know that some of us has, have private message. I've talked to a few of you on the phone, and I just want to say thank you for supporting me over the years, and I truly enjoy the friendships that I've made, and would love to meet some of you. Um, I think it would be cool if we could all just go somewhere, and maybe it's that we all decide to go to IMAX one year or something like that. But I just want to say thank you, and I hope y'all are having a great summer, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.